In the previous video, I showed you how to very easily save a transform in the game. Now we're going to save rigid bodies in RPG Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere here. I'm going to put it above the ground so we can actually see it. Good, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And here I'm going to add a rigid body component. I'm going to leave it as is, I'm not really going to tweak it, but of course you can tweak any value. And here I'm all, all I'm going to do is add a rigid body saver. So this is going to add a component that's going to allow you to save the rigid body. Now, as always, we have to generate, generate a unique identifier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to drag and drop the rigid body in there. Just like the transform, as you can see, we have a lot of options. You can choose what values you're going to save about this rigid body. I'm going to leave everything on. Now, we could already go in game, play with this ball and see that um, the rigid body is going to be saved. But there is one more thing I want to do. I also want to save the uh, transform. So what I'm going to do here is add a transform uh, saver as well. So as you can see, we can have multiple savers on one game object. And I really made it like component based. I didn't want to have one component saving all kinds of things. If you want to save rigid body, add a rigid body saver. If you want to save the transform, add this one extra. So you basically add whatever component you want and they will all work together with the same identifier. So now we can directly go in game and uh, the ball is going to move, of course, and we can start. What am I? Ah, yeah, I'm a bit far. You can see that it's moving on the ground. And um, if I start and just push it like this. Okay, now I'm going to leave and go back in play mode. And as you can see, uh, the ball is not only at the same position, but still moving the way it was with the same speed and everything. You can see that now it's getting some speed. Up, oh, I'm going to leave again. Now we just hit the tree, right? So we're going to see it um, move away from the tree and that's it. So that's, I think, really cool, uh, especially for how easy it is. And you can, you know, I'm sure you're going to have fun with that. You can save all kind of things that are affected by rigid bodies, etc. So yeah, that's just really fun. And as you can see, um, we could very easily add different components to save different things about this um, uh, game object. And yeah, that's it. Now we can have, we can of course have as many of those as we want in the scene. And uh, they are all going to be persistent with your character. Now, if you enter the scene with another character, this sphere is still going to be where it should start. So that's really the cool part about it. So let me know if you have any question on uh, Discord as always, and see you in the next video.